what's up guys? In this video we're going to take a quick look around the world at some weather scenarios unfolding in the coming week and we're going to start down here along the Gold Coast of Australia. Possible cyclone next week. We'll see if that unfolds. I've also got a new picture slideshow I put together. New sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Plus we've got a storm that was recorded by Robert in Fort Wayne, Indiana that is borderline superstorm. You can tell by the structure of the humongous roll cloud that that Robert filmed and sent to us. Really, really cool with some very impressive lightning. But what we're looking at here at windy.com, they're showing us a week from today, the formation of what looks like a very large wind field associated with a cyclone off the Gold Coast of Queensland here in Australia. And if we move it forward like a day or two at a time here, this is again Sunday of next week, and it's showing a large system off the coast. If we stop it right there, those winds are reaching 117 miles per hour. That'd be at least a Category 3 storm off the coast of Queensland if it materializes. Does not look like it's going to make a direct landfall along the Gold Coast of Australia as it starts to pull away and head towards the southeast. Well, southeast of there, headed right towards the North Island of New Zealand, potentially. We'll have to wait and see. That's about as far out as it goes. Those long-range forecasts can and will change. But either way, it's going to be very windy off the coast of Australia and northern New Zealand coming up this time next weekend. So that's something to watch for if you're down in Australia. And they'll welcome a little rain along the, the Gold Coast, I'm sure, just not a an overabundance. We're looking at a large system up here in the United States headed towards the Pacific Coast. And that system right there is supposed to bring rain into the desert southwest here in a couple of days. In fact, starting uh, tomorrow, I think, and some high winds, and this system's going to extend all across the country up into the northeast. That's the pattern we've been seeing for the last three months, it seems like. And it's not changing anytime soon. You can see another large system heading up into the North Atlantic to our friends in Ireland, in the United Kingdom, Scotland, Northern Europe. More high winds. Heavy rain, possibly. Um, it looks like it's definitely making its way in sometime next week. You can see the big storm system that favors an atmospheric river coming up just south of Arizona. That white thing you saw go across the bottom of the screen, that's the moon, believe it or not. That's how it interprets the moon right there. So that's, that's just the full moon, especially full moon. You're looking at these storm systems. Here's one here, another one here. They're lining up. This one here will more than likely make its way up into the northern Atlantic, not necessarily next week. This one will be next week. This one's already underway, and this one's right behind it. So a lot of activity in the North Atlantic as the storms continue to roll towards the United Kingdom and Ireland and Scotland, dust coming off of the west coast of Africa, headed down towards South America and into the Caribbean. Check out how dry this air is. We're going to a dry air map. These brown areas you see are exactly that, dry air, and that's dust coming off of the west coast coast of Africa that is absolutely bone dry but then you go about a thousand miles north of that and it's super super wet and moist and headed towards northern Europe and the United Kingdom over here super dry this system here super wet the one that we just saw that looks similar to that of a atmospheric river look at that that looks like a gigantic atmospheric river normally this system would be a little farther north going into central California up into the Sierra Nevadas and all of this precipitation right here would be in the form of snow up in the Sierra Nevadas that would be their water supply it's moving south this year for some reason the jet stream is way down low um, been like that for several weeks going into months. So look for rain, high winds in the, the southwestern United States. All of that moisture and wind is going to move into the central plains. More rain coming to the southern states. So just be prepared for that. And here's that spinner off the coast of California. That's the one we're waiting on here in California and Arizona coming up in the next 48 hours. No tropical cyclones officially yet, but that one down in Australia, according to windy.com, and they're pretty accurate. In fact, Wendy is highly accurate. If Wendy's calling for a cyclone off the Gold Coast about a week out, I'd say it's a, a pretty safe bet it's going to occur somewhere in this area. Just don't know exactly where, and the path could change. So we'll definitely keep a, a close eye on that 
Here's another look at that storm system brewing right now off the coast of California. And here is a storm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, sent in by our friend Robert, calling this a super storm. And you'll see why the structure of this storm was very, very impressive. Video footage sent in by Robert H. of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Look at the size of that shelf cloud. He said that storm was associated with golf ball size hail and the possibility of tornadoes. Don't think they had any, and I'm not sure if they got the golf ball size hail. But the storm system did produce a lot of lightning, as you're going to see here in just a second. Very intense, non-stop lightning that went on for quite some time. This was a very photogenic storm, as you can see, before it started to get really cranked up. Robert shared this incredible video footage from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And here's the intense lightning that followed the storm. It was pretty much non-stop for several minutes as this storm rolled through. Again, I'm not sure about the golf ball size hail. I don't think there were any tornadoes, but the lightning and the energy associated with this storm was very, very impressive. Robert said he hadn't seen anything like that in a long, long time. So there's the lightning and the photogenic shelf cloud that rolled through Fort Wayne, Indiana. Thank you, Robert. Greatly appreciate that. Something else I wanted to share with you guys was these South Pole radio telescopes. I was down there looking at the, the webcam just a couple of days ago. In fact, I think it was yesterday, the day before. And, you know, you look at these things and you just think and you ask yourself, what are they looking for? I mean, it's like negative 50 degrees down here, and that's not counting the wind chill. I mean, it's just brutally cold. What are these instruments looking for? They're looking for something. There's something very important up in that sky that these things are looking for or watching or, or anticipating something because to set up this type of a, a shop, if you will, down in the middle of the, the Antarctic continent where it's 50 below zero, I mean, I mean, this is right at the South Pole pretty much, these massive radio telescopes just makes you wonder, are they looking for something or just simply studying, you know? Fascinating. I would like to take a look at those myself. I mean, I bet you those are very, very impressive. But I was just looking at those the other day. And I do follow Antarctica. It's a very fascinating place. Speaking of fascinating, here's some new sky phenomena. Pictures that have been sent in here recently. Zach from Washington. Spectacular red sky. Just doesn't get hardly any redder than that. Patrick Jade, not exactly sure of the location, but some very impressive gravity waves. Another picture here of what looks like one straight gravity wave. Looks like a stray one there. Christy out of South Carolina. Very tall looking orange clouds dominating the sky. Southwest Colorado. Angela, let me stop this just for a second. She noticed this very unusual cloud up here in the sky that's kind of glowing, got an unusual shape, looked very out of place, and then behind it, you see what looks like a square, just something unique that she noticed and took a little short video clip of because it was up here by the sun. And you can see a little bit of color here, not much, but this cloud here with a very unusual shape appears to be almost glowing. Look at that. Just incredible. She took that video out of Southwest Colorado. Mike F. from Phoenix, Arizona. Noticed some very unusual uh, signatures up in the sky. Becky and Mitch out of Kentucky. How about that? Some mammatus clouds along with some purple lightning out above the airport there in Kentucky. And here's a rainbow with a lightning strike behind it. Don't see that very often. Big double-decker rainbow, also from Becky and Mitch out of Kentucky. Good job, guys. Billy B. flying from Long Beach, California, over to San Diego. And as they were leaving Long Beach, flew out over the coast, he noticed this perfect hole in the cloud. And if you look at it, you can see where the clouds are trying to take on a counterclockwise rotation around that perfect hole in the sky. Incredible photograph taken by Billy from an airplane of a perfect hole. Could be one of those hole punch clouds, but almost looks like a little cyclone up there. Lisa B. out of Montreal. Unbelievable structure up in the sky. You've got clear blue skies over here, and then over here it's just solid white. And the sharp contrast between the two is just hard not to notice. That's why she took a picture and it extended for miles as far as she could see. Mira F. out of Cape Town, South Africa. Big structure up in the sky around the moon. Dorset, United Kingdom, Nadine and Dan P. Yet another spectacular double-decker rainbow. Is that intense or what? Good job, guys. 
Keep the photos coming. Robin out of Highland, California. She said it looked like a perfect hole up in the clouds. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Robert H. again of yet another spectacular storm cloud brewing. Sean out of uh, Idaho. Some more Mammatus clouds look like cotton balls up in the sky. How about that? That's just a reflection off the windshield of the car right there. Another big halo coming up over the horizon by David Kay out of Sunset Beach, California. United Kingdom, Jen, noticed what looked like triangles up in the sky. These big dominating clouds coming up amongst the normal looking clouds. These here are shaped like big triangles or, or pyramids up in the sky. Good observation. Jennifer out of Austin, Texas. See that sharp contrast again? Clear blue skies and then the, the cloud structures. Jonathan out of Quebec. Let me stop this for a minute. Said he noticed what looked like a triangle up here in front of the sun or above the sun. And that's what compelled him to take the photograph. Good observation, Jonathan. That was out of Quebec. Rusternburg, South Africa. Video sent in here of a hole in the clouds up in the proximity of the sun. And you can see some color also up there too. Big a uh, gigantic hole in the clouds. Mims, Florida. Photo here sent in by Ryan M. Of yet another structure up in the sky. And some spectacular colorful clouds. Unbelievable. Mims is on the east coast of Florida. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Since we're here, if you're a new viewer, go over and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like. Click on the notifications bell if you want notifications every time I upload a new video. If you're a current subscriber, by all means, double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and double check that bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Keep the photos coming, guys. You're wide awake and on the ball. You can send all your photos to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.